News Army. Hurricane Ian, after the storm, Cuba loses power completely. As a result of Hurricane Ian's impact on the western part of the island, the Cuban government has claimed that the whole country is without electricity. After one of the primary power plants could not be brought back online, the electrical system was in utter collapse, according to authorities. Two fatalities and structural damage were recorded nationally. The Category 3 storm had winds of up to 195 km per hour, 120 miles per hour, and is now coming down on Florida. On Tuesday, the president of the Electrical Energy Authority said on Cuban state television that an island-wide blackout had occurred due to the failure of the national electrical system, putting 11 million Cubans in the dark. A journalist for a state-run news outlet said that 100% of the country's electrical circuits were out of service and that the Antonio Guterres thermoelectric power plant could not be synchronized. Antonio Guterres, located in Matanzas, 100 kilometers east of the Cuban capital Havana, is the central energy facility in Cuba. Due to its closure, no power is generated anywhere on the island.